just over a year ago I was in the prototype one of these and now there's a full fleet of Ineos Grenadiers it doesn't get much better than that well we can see them right in the distance moving along they look like a massive platoon don't they? Convoy! Now they've just stopped but there's a reason for that because it's tidal they have to wait for the perfect time to cross that's why they've got the tractors escorting them the guys that are coming across the channel now they're actually in four high interesting which says something doesn't it I mean I suppose the key to travelling across something like this is to keep moving because we know what the sands are like if you step on it then you're going to start sinking and you've got what, 17 grenadiers at well over two tons each you don't want to be sat around for too long, do you? <laughs> Just keep moving. Yeah, well, exactly. is the key to that one. And boy, do they. Look at that. I mean, you can see coming through the channel. Wow. <laughs> That's it. I mean, they've all got snorkels on, so they're pretty prepared. Yeah, but it's made light work of that. Well, exactly. And they've also got a decent wading depth. And some of the angles, I mean, we'll put those on the screen for you now. So you can read up exactly how capable this is. Wow. Nothing can prepare you for that. I mean, we've already seen these earlier in the week. But to see them here, I mean, this is such a treacherous trail. Seawater, quicksand, you name it. But the thing is, this vehicle's been built for purpose, hasn't it? I mean, that's actually their mantra, isn't it? Yes. Built for. And, and it, built on purpose. It, it's literally trying to make sure that every kind of utility it could be needed for, it's available and capable for. Yeah, well, it's built for. I'll make my own. Well, yeah, in a <laughs> word, much, let's make yes. something very similar. Hence its name, Grenadier. I mean, that encompasses its roof, it's ready. But it's also got a tail behind it, hasn't it? Yes, because he was actually in his favourite pub in Belgravia, the Grenadier, when he came up with the idea. And that was scribbled down on a napkin, wasn't it? Yeah, his first outline of it was on a napkin. I hope he's got it framed somewhere in his office. You better yeah, not, lady. I know, I would. But it's not just that, is it? I mean, now we can see them on the foreshore. We know that they came on further up the estuary and had to cross over some, I think it was like a saltwater river. And it's remarkable to see 17 of these just literally forging on. That's the only way I can put it. It's, it's to just witness this, isn't it? Well, it's more than just a robust, capable vehicle, isn't it? It's literally an all-terrain ute ploughing its way through that estuary. Oh yeah. It's fantastic. Well that's it, you get LED lights, you've got the ladder frame chassis, it's galvanised, it's got a BMW powertrain, whether it's diesel or petrol I don't think that matters. I mean we've driven so many BMW vehicles and the engines are powertrain so well there's something else aren't they? They definitely are. Yeah. What you've got to remember is you've got a 12 year anti-perforation warranty on that body. Well that's awesome. Especially as it's galvanised, you know damn well it's going to be up to everything. And that's on top of the five-year unlimited mileage warranty as well. And there's also, I think, a three-year warranty on things like accessories. And paint, yeah. You've got it in that's a nutshell. I mean. They're trying to cover every single base. And the thing that really staggers me is, I mean, let's face it, we're now in a cost-of-living crisis. And we've had so much, like, the pandemic, etc. And we knew prices would go up. But to be honest, I think 55 grand's not far out of the ballpark that they actually targeted right at the beginning. I think when we were hearing the first quotes, it was around 49 to 50. So it yeah. hasn't, you're right, hasn't jumped up that much in comparison. And you get a lot for the money, like you said, the five year warranty. I mean, and it's unlimited mileage. And let's face it, these things aren't just going to be driven up and down the M6, are they? Oh, gosh, no. Even though they are built to cruise, especially that BMW powertrain. I mean, yes, they've got heavy coils and that kind of thing. They've got, well, everything that you need to make a proper off-roader. But that's one of the missions I think they had, wasn't it? To make yeah. it just as capable on-road as off. Exactly. And I think they've definitely fulfilled that requirement. Well, that was it. When I was in the prototype watching its off-roading capabilities, the fact it can just zip and then climb and then clamber and then trudge. There's so many words that relate to that vehicle. They're just... Yeah, I know we're gushing about this. And but there's a reason why. <sighs> yeah. I mean, just look at this. It's a bit like the TVR story, isn't it? A guy saw something and thought, actually, I can make something of this. And in case you're wondering, yeah, we are witnessing these here as part of the, I suppose it's the PR event for Grenadine, well, in use. Mm. But we are going to be having one on test. 
that's going to be a joyous number of days. Not just the first day, but every day will be good. Well, we know for a fact we're going to take it and put it through its paces, aren't we? Massively. In our own inimitable way. We're going to have to find something completely new. The INEOS Grenadier M1 station wagon is a permanent 4x4 that utilises a proven BMW powertrain, which is either a twin-turbo diesel or petrol straight-six engine. As you'd expect, it can tow three and a half tonnes. On the inside, Recaro's. Look at this. Proper beast. Aircraft style switch gear on the roof. You get sunroofs and all types of things as well. And lots of handles. Believe me, you'll need them. And yes, that is a Bavarian shifter. This screen displays everything from the balance of the vehicle through to the economy and everything in between. Geez, the lot. This is built for purpose, it's reinforced where it needs to be. Skid plates left, right and centre. Even things like the side steps. Water can easily run off them. And they're not as chunky as other ones as well. Meaning it should just glance off things. Ooh, okay. Solid, dependable. I don't know. 